morning everyone today's video might be a pretty short one today is Eddie's birthday he turned 67 he's not here at the moment he had to take ocean to work but I'm hoping we don't have to work all day on his birthday we don't have anything planned for him but you know just having the day off would be nice so today we're going to be using my neighbor's water level now this neighbor is Bob, the one you saw on the last video, I think, where we were milling some of these 4x4s. He brought us this line level, or water level, and we're going to use it to make a level line around all of the posts so that we can cut them off to the correct height. I have this 2x6 across here. This, these are the bottom uh boards that the metal will screw to that's not attached yet we were just putting it there to check the ground level but we're going to measure from the bottom of that two by six and we're going to come up seven foot ten the idea was to have an eight foot wall so that i could just buy or purchase eight foot metal i don't think it's going to work out that way but it's okay because the place where we get our metal they cut it to whatever size you want but we're going to cut this these posts to seven foot ten because when we put a 4x4 across the top, that 4x4 will actually sit down onto these by two inches, making the total from the bottom of the bottom 2x6 to the top of the 2x4, eight feet. So that's our plan. Don't know what the metal will end up being. We figure when it's all done, we'll just measure it and then that's what we'll order the metal for instead of trying to figure out okay well do we have enough room for bottom trim and this and that and this is our first building to build without plans so we're doing the best we can just hang with us okay so we managed to set up the water level we filled it with some pink water i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but we put some pink water in the level and we set it so the level of the water is at, I'm sorry about the sun, it's like gonna be right in the way right now. We made this water level, so the level of the water is on our seven foot 10 mark. So the level of this water is actually a little low. We're gonna have to get Eddie up here to fix this in a minute, but you want the level of this water level with the height that we want and then we're going to take the other end of this hose around to each post and where the water levels itself out we'll make a mark and that should be level all the way around but first we're going to get up here and or we're going to get eddie up here to fix this it's important that you don't have any air bubbles in your line that nobody's standing on it and you have no kinks in it so as long as eddie doesn't walk over there and step on it while we're trying to do this Okay, so what I did was I made a mark here on the hose because I want to make sure I have the same amount of water in the hose at all times just because I feel like that makes a difference. So we're going to bring this down to where... Let me see the camera, honey. We're going to bring this down to where the water meets up with my line on the hose. We're gonna give it a minute to even itself out. And that should be perfectly level with the bottle of water over there. Okay, I'm gonna make a mark right here at that level of the water. And then I'm going to close the clip on this. Actually, I'm gonna pick it up because I don't wanna lose any water out of it. And then I'm going to close the clip and that'll keep the water from coming out while we go over to the next post. We're going to do this for every post. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a cobweb on this camera. I thought the lens was broken. Anyways, we're going to do this on every post and then we're going to measure because I don't trust the water level and we'll see how close this water level came. But after we get all of the posts marked, with this line 
we're gonna take the tape measure and we we already made a level line all the way around the bottom like i said with the laser level so we're gonna measure from the mark on the bottom to this mark up here and we're gonna make sure they're all the same and then we'll come back and we will tell you if they were dead on or if they were off now if they're off it could just be us because we've never used a water level but we'll see what happens all right next post We have about five miles of hose on this water level. Whoa. All right, let's see where we're at. We're gonna unclick it and we're gonna bring it down, I guess, so that the water meets my line. Let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna give it a minute and make sure that the water level has equalized and it hasn't moved so we're going to mark that okay i'm going to let the water come down below my clip and clip it off so it doesn't leak out and whoop. we're going to mark that all right, on to the next post. I sure hope this is working because it sure is easy if it is. Okay, so after a couple of hours of messing around, and I'm not joking, it's been a couple of hours, we put the water level up and we made a mark on each post. And then we came back and we measured because earlier we, we drew a level line along the bottom of the post. So we went through and we measured from our bottom line to our line on the top that the water level gave us and none of them were right. They were all off. So then we put a string level up there and we pulled it as tight as we could pull it and it wasn't my lining up with the water level marks that we made. So I don't know where we were messing up, but we have checked it with the water level and the laser line. Then we went through and measured again from the laser line to the bottom line. And these four posts on this side of the building, all the measurements are the same. They might be off by a 16th, but you know, that could be your pencil lead, your interpretation of where the line is, stuff like that. But they are pretty much exactly the same. So now we need to go through and do the other side and I'll tell you, it has been frustrating. Like I was so ready to say, you know what? Let's build this on a hill and build it, build it crooked <laughs> because it's very difficult when one form of getting a level line doesn't match up with another form of getting a level line. So anyways, Eddie is going to get our braces ready. That's going to help him to cut a straight line on these posts while I go through on the other side and mark our level line. And then I'll check them and make sure the measurements are the same. As long as my measurements are the same from the top of my bottom two by six to the top of the post, that's all that really matters because that way when I go to put metal on I'm not, we're not cutting them all they'll all be exactly the same length because they'll go from there to there so as long as that measurement's the same I'm happy nobody's gonna be able to stand out here and say hey your building's a quarter of an inch unlevel I mean maybe somebody could but I doubt it okay guys after much frustration and total not understanding we have decided to go about this differently because on this wall here we ran the level lines we ran the water levels everything seemed to be right we measured from line to line they all matched then when I got to the other side of the building and I tried to do the same thing and I leveled from the left side to the right side, made sure my lines were the same. My measurements aren't the same. 
Now the lines on the top of all of these posts were done with the water level. But when we measure from the water level mark to the mark we have on the bottom, which we leveled from the other side, the measurements aren't the same. We're getting uh, seven foot five and a half and seven foot six. We just cannot figure out why nothing is coming out right. So we've got these two corner boards right here. They are level. We use the four foot level. I don't have a six foot level. They're level by the four foot level. This one is level. That one is level. We put this one diagonally. It's perfectly level. So what we've decided to do instead is we're going to run the baseboard all the way around this building and then and we're going to you know level it with our four foot level and then we're going to take the measurement from the top of that baseboard up and make our marks and cut it off it's the only thing we can figure out to do now we cannot figure out i mean i thought i was smart but this is beating me i cannot figure out why these measurements just will not match so the building may be unlevel in the end, but it should measure the same on both sides. I don't want an eight foot wall over here and a seven foot wall over here, if you know what I mean. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run these baseboards, level them up with the four foot level, and then we will take the measurements off of that, go up the seven foot, well, from the top of those, we're gonna go up seven foot four, uh yeah we're gonna go up seven foot four from the top of the baseboard make a mark and we're gonna chop them off there so let's do that like yes and we're just gonna put one like yeah okay this post needs to go that way Harder. Good. Okay, now you hold this end and I'll level it. Hair. Right there? Keep good. No, I said a hair. Go oh. down. Right there. Okay, see? And they all lined up right with our lines. I know. Ain't none of it making sense to me. None of it makes sense to me either. This makes sense to me. They're level all the way across. And then we just measure up, cut them off, and they're the right height. <laughs> That's the way I did it back in the old days. <laughs> we got to bring in a lot of dirt to level this floor. Yep. We're like two feet off the ground over here. <laughs> I guess we could have dug down that corner over there, but... All right, are you close? Yeah, I'm close. Well, I mean, I'm close to my line. I don't know about level. Wow. If you're up against it and you're flush, nail it. Ooh. Yeah, I'll tell you, this is so much easier than trying to mess with that water level. Might not be right, but it's so much easier. If that one's level, and that one's level, and this one's level, then the diagonal has to be level, if right? That, honey, if that's the top and that's the bottom, that has, that to, has be to be the middle. Be the middle. <laughs> and if it's not, you know, if that one's level and this one's not level, then we just know that the moon, the full moon's gravitational pull is throwing everything out of whack. Yeah, it's a red moon. Don't build on a red moon. <laughs> All right, guys. I know this was a short video and probably boring because we did most of it off camera because it was just so frustrating and we couldn't figure it out. And hold on, I got an ant biting me. And we didn't get as much done as we had planned or hoped to. 
but at least now we have a starting point to measure from so that we can cut our four by four posts off. We will probably do that tomorrow unless it rains, which is very likely around here because it seems to rain every day or every other day. <laughs> but if you made it this far into the video, we appreciate you. We thank you very much and we will see you next time.